Hi guys, today's video is about um, saving money and um, little things that I do to do that to stop me spending. Um, it is now 10 past 11 and I'm just having breakfast, lunch, brunch and I do this uh, quite often um, so I don't ha have to eat three times a day, I can just have two meals. Um, so I try to go as long as I can without breakfast and then maybe if I'm really hungry, right now I'm really hungry, I'll have it just before lunch. And today's um, meal is scrambled eggs on toast. Now this bread I got in my Too Good To Go box um, and um, so I don't know, I can't work it out but pennies, um, I got some eggs. Um, large eggs from um, Home Bargains the other day and they were 79p for, two, four, for 10 large eggs um, yeah so what's that eight, 16p for two eggs and I'm going to have some butter on here and then this will keep me going until my evening meal tonight um, so that's one way if um, you know as well, I want to lose a bit of weight um, and it saves me money by cutting down on food. I don't do this with my son. My son, you know, he has about eight meals a day and um, this is just for me. The second thing I've been doing today is I've been using this amazing spray paint. It's called Stain Sealed and it's for watermarks on my ceiling and after the horrendous weather over um, last weekend over Halloween um, I've had a few water stain marks on my ceiling and um, I found this in B&M and it was £6.99 for this tin and it's absolutely amazing and one spray um, and the marks are gone and if anybody knows about water marks they come through it doesn't matter how much you paint them and so I'm hoping so far so good they haven't come back through so that's another thing I've been doing to save myself a bit of money um, and time, um, a few DIY jobs. Um, I've made myself this gorgeous little succulent plant with magnets. I've hot glued some uh, magnets on the back of it. This was just in my bathroom. I saw something on, um, oh, I think it was Wish, and they were selling them and I thought oh, I really wanted one but I didn't want to pay the price so I've made my own. I've also fixed this lovely little hanging heart, the lights had broken on it but um, I've taken the old lights off and I had them um, uh, set, they're like these uh, wired lights and um, I had a set and I have them for Christmas don't know if you can see the lights but um, they were 99p from Ikea I've had them oh, about three years now they're just little battery operated ones and um, I like having this on in the winter it just makes my room and my home feel warmer I'm just waiting for my as order and then I'm going to show you another money saving tip that I've recently picked up and I can't believe how long it's taken me to realise this ace, ace, ace tip. So, um, yeah, I'll be back later on. Bye. So I'm still on my money saving day and um, on a bit of a mission. Now every year I plant garlic, it's the 1st of November. There's still time, but I won't have time to go to the allotment. And I planted a load last year in my back garden, but the cat pooed in the bed and um, I just haven't had time to sort it out and I need to, I need to get a move on now. Um, but what I'm gonna do, just to help me feel better, if you can see, this is my tiny little outdoor patio and um, you can't stand on it and anything like that. Um, but I've put my little plant pots here and I grow all sorts in here and what I'm going to do is plant some garlic um, just to make me feel better so I know um, I'll, at least I'll have some I'll have some next year if I don't get the chance to uh, plant some out very soon so all you do is oh, 
<laughs> they're alive is pull the little clothes off the bulb and these are the bulbs that I grew last year they're absolutely massive and I knew um, last year the garlic was going to do really really well because it was so cold and it was wet and they just loved it so they went massive so yeah so I plant it in with this little the, here's the bottom that goes in the soil and I plant this and you can either cover it completely or leave a little bit um, sticking up so I have all these different pots um, and I'd love to put like three in there but I know it's not going to happen so I just push one so if I get one out of that I'll be really really chuffed I like to use the biggest ones that I've got. Now garlic needs um, the cold to split into these cloves, otherwise you'll just have one big bulb, which is fine. It just means you have to use the whole bulb in one go. That one is slightly damaged, so I'm not going to use that one. And then I've got a small pot at the back, so I'm just going to put a little one in there. Now then, I have a pot like this, but it's too shallow. They won't like it, so I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use the ones that I've got that are quite deep. And there we go. I've managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, about fifteen little cloves of garlic in there. So, ten, you know, I could have possibly fifteen bulbs of garlic just from this little space, and that will keep us going um, for quite a while. And. Um, I noticed in Home Bargains the other day you can buy four, uh, four bulbs of garlic for 59p which is really really cheap so you don't have to grow it you can uh, you know buy it but um, if you're looking to plant garlic you can buy those bulbs for 59p and you have four garlic bulbs to plant out that would be more than enough and um, you'd get loads of bulbs of garlic from that. So as does just been and um, this is my money saving video now. I mentioned on the ASDA video um, about the prices of my gas and electricity and especially my gas going up. Um, and this is what utility companies do if the gas prices go up they change your um, direct debit um, so then you don't owe them uh, they yeah you don't owe them money um, but you have to do that for so many months before they review your account and say oh actually yeah she's not using that or they're not using that um, we'll bring the direct debit down or actually she's using more than that we'll put it up so for oh, nearly two years now, my gas every month, they take £14 off me. And um, like I said, I've been in credit with them. Um, and I'm actually, yeah, I'm in credit with them because I just keep that the same all year round. 
and if I use any extra in the winter um, I don't use it in the summer they, you know it balances itself out so with whatever gas I used last year using exactly the same amount this year my bill is going to go up it's going to go up because of the prices of the gas going up so they can change that anytime they want which they have done and I get my review in March so if they they take in this £40 off me now um, so I am paying 14 they want to start taking 40 off me at the end of this month um, so that's an increase of £26 a month which is a hell of a lot of money and I know I'm going to have to pay that till at least March because that's when they review my account and then it will come back so I've got November, December, January, February, March I've got five months to find that extra money and also I don't want to be paying that so I want to not use my gas now the problem is this week it's gone really cold it's been about 10 degrees in the morning and um, this morning it was one degrees yesterday it was three the cars were frozen solid and it has gone really really cold if it drops slightly every day i could get used to that that's fine but dropping like seven to ten degrees in one day no i'm gonna feel that and so the house has gone really cold now then um I looked after my nephew yesterday, today and yesterday as well, I've had the heating on in the morning because it's been so cold and I wanted to heat my son's uniform up. So I had it on for half an hour this morning, so I put it on at quarter past seven, I turn it off at quarter to eight and um, my son usually gets changed about 80, 8 o'clock so I've got those 15 minutes the radiators stay warm enough to keep his clothes warm so literally I had it on half an hour this morning half an hour yesterday morning and then my nephew was here yesterday and he's been really poorly so I didn't want him cold and it was freezing so I put the heating on 15 for three hours and it came on that's how cold the house was that the thermostat was set to 15 degrees and it came on and it didn't tick off again till 12 o'clock no I think it was about half past 12 something like that and I put it on about half past nine but I know it was on for about so three and a half hours yesterday half an hour today so I've had it on for four hours and already my bill is on £2.70 now I've only got 30p left and I've gone over my budget um, of the £1 a day and I've kind of, it's hard because I only pay £14 and so that works out 50p a day is 28 days I've also got my standing charge every day which is about 23 pence so literally I get 27 p's worth of gas a day before I go over budget and now with, I'm not going to be using any more and my price has gone up by 26 pounds a month Ugh. anyway what can I do to help my situation and this is what I've had a thought and I'm going to try hot water bottle this was five pounds in asda now then this is my son's hot water bottle and i don't know why but i just associate a hot water bottle being in your bed but what we've been doing the past couple of nights is i've been filling this hot water bottle up and we've had it on the sofa with us and blankets over us and oh my gosh what a difference it's absolutely amazing and I haven't had to turn the heating on I just turned it on yesterday in, um, morning and this morning um, so yeah I um, haven't had to turn the heating on so I reckon this is going to be a saving grace 
and we can still sit there and we can watch obviously if it gets freezing as you all know we just go to bed um, but I've been doing some work at night um, and it's easier to do that in the lounge and so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing every night now because filling one of these up or filling two of these up one for my son one for me is going to be so much cheaper than turning my gas on now my electricity is on £3.82 already um, when we were away over half term for those few days I didn't have anything on in the house apart from the essentials which was the I've got chest freezer I've got the fridge freezer um, the internet stayed on because my CCTV runs through the internet and I had the CCTV on and still I was using over a pound a day and we weren't even here um, so I'm going to have to really look into that now um, because I've gone over budget already on my electricity and today I've had nothing on I've had no heating on or I tell a lie I've had my bread machine on um, so yeah really going to have to watch that um, and that's why I bought these candles um, to help me out um, to warm the house up or to make it feel a bit warmer and um, for light so I don't have to you know I just have one bulb on at night um, that's because I'm, I'm doing work another thing I've done today is I've start, I've made another loaf not um, not playing loaf a white loaf this is a fruit loaf because I wanted a fruit loaf from Asda 75p and it's crazy when I've got the ingredients and I can make it and last time it turned out really really nice and it's finished now so I'm going to get that out and show you look at that gorgeous now last time I made it the um, top here sunk but this time it hasn't done it and um, I think um, what I did differently is that I added a tiny little bit more water than it suggested so we'll see how this goes down. right is this going to come straight out do you reckon yes it is oh look and the paddle it's still at the bottom there tiny bit of bread stuck around it look at that perfect oh my goodness lovely I am gonna get a bread knife right got my bread knife and I'm gonna slice it And I used a little bit more cinnamon this time. Oh, that smells amazing. Look at that. Gorgeous. Really, look at this. Oh, amazing. I put, also I put a bit more fruit in it this time. Um, because I didn't think there was enough in it last time. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Wow, it's still really hot. I got. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm, amazing. I'm so chuffed I made that now. And that's 75p. I know that's crazy and you don't think that's a massive saving, but to me it is, and it's great. Mmm, yeah, lovely. Okay, well, um, I think I'll wrap it up here for the money saving video. I could go on and on and on, but those are just the things that I've done today to help save me money. Now I need to find a way of making more money, <laughs> um, which is always the case, isn't it? So thanks for watching and I hope um, this has given you some ideas of how to save money. If you've got any tips for me, 
with regards to the gas especially and keeping warm please let me know because I'm always always looking for ways um, to save money and to keep warm so thanks for watching take care see you soon bye